for coming out, great crowd. Also, got to thank uh, Top Rank and, and Golden Boy, Richard Schaefer, for putting this not only together, but in L.A. What, what better place to be? Uh, two fighters from L.A., everybody's familiar with them. They fight at home. There's no advantage on each end when it comes to that. It's a great thing. But I must say, when I heard that name, The Ghost, I said, wait a minute, hold on. Hey, you know, I forgot we did sign the guy. So, so that that day, you know, I thought Kelly Babbitt was coming out of the crowd. You know, ghosts, ghosts do that. You know what I mean, you never know. They pop up. You know, that's why they're the ghosts. But, but you know, get, get to business, and and you know, I got a lot of respect for Mario. He's a great, great guy, great champion. Got a chance to meet him, taking our doctor's test. You know, a couple years ago. But and Shane Mosley, I mean. Both fighters come up, earning a place, earning a respect. We picked on good, great shows over the years, championships, fights, and they both have their own legacy. But I already remind some of the top reporters, some will boldly say they are experts. I, I might agree or disagree, I have that right, but nevertheless, if history in the past is a report card to remind us that everyone has a chance when they step in the ring. Big is not always better. Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao. Mm. Old is not always a, 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 a disadvantage, but it could be an advantage. Hopkins, Kelly Pappen. If history has a say, and what you should be conscious of before you boldly, which you have that right, and allow to say this should happen because of this, and this should happen because of that. We have that opinion that would make this country so great because we can disagree to agree on what things should happen. But if history has a say, and your mind hasn't forgotten, or you want to forget it, for whatever reason, that's outside of being a journalist or expert, is that you cannot count no one out because of some reason because. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, 2008 last year showed everyone, including me, including me, that just because you think you know. Be prepared to be wrong sometimes. And just like some fighters that shouldn't fight no more because they lose in the edge or they cannot fight no more, I think personally some reporters need to retire because they get it wrong all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's good for the goose, it's good for the game. So to me it's like, you know, Bob and, and, and Richard and the rest of the people, Shelly Frankel, my buddy, uh, Al, a uh, land merchant, everybody, it, it, it gets to sometimes that if, if, if fighters who somehow losing their swagger don't have it anymore, then I think after a while we should analyze the experts. But y'all not on trial right now. What's on trial right now to see who's the best is Sugar Shane Mosley and Margarita coming this Saturday. Trust me, styles between Shane style and Mario, who comes in, remind me of a, 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 a better virgin. No disrespect to his legacy. It is what it is, and I got mad respect for him. That's Felix Trinidad. He's not backing up. He never had a reverse in this car. And so when you have those two, two chemistries going together, it's like hot water and cold water. You will get some kind of fizz once they come together. Something's going to happen. I am biased, I must, in case y'all didn't know, I must admit that I am guilty of being biased. There's no question, there should be no secret, who I'm going with, who I believe, not only out of emotions, not only because of partnership, but the better all around skills. Hey, I was a bet man, I'm betting on Sugar Shane Mosley to sugar and shine all Saturday night. And show what makes, what makes that title. You see, one thing, one thing for sure, I'm going to close with this. And again, Margarita was a better version than me. This is my opinion. 
of a Felix Trinidad, a young Felix Trinidad, when he was killing, knocking everybody out until he met some guy called the executioner. He was like, <laughs> his style and what he has to prove, and he has a lot to prove. His legacy is on the line. He had belts. They, I think four or five of them, three weight, weight division, four. I lost track. But now when you fight for your legacy, and I sort of can relate to that, when my legacy is online, because that would, so my tombstone, or that would be the, the last stamp of my approval is Bernard Hopkins. His legacy lasts longer than the title. His legacy lasts longer than my life when it's over. That's what the report card of my resume would say once I'm long and gone. Mario Rio has a legacy too that he wants to keep intact. Thanks for being patient. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a sellout fight, as they mentioned earlier. And I'm excited, not only as a fan, because remember, I'm that first. Just happened to be other things, too. But I'm excited about this fight. I'm pulling and hoping my man wins and wins big. And look, at the end of the day, no matter what I say, no matter what Bob Ram said, whatever, whatever Richard Safer said, or anybody else except the fighters, they're going to have to prove one right and one going to be wrong. And I'd like say thanks, and Sugar Shane Mosley will be right. Thank you.